welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking and by grabbing one of my free ebooks. Today I am promoting Beauty of the Beast, a fantasy adventure based on the classic tale of Beauty and the Beast, but this time the woman is the one cursed. You can read the first ebook for free. And I'm also promoting Monster of Monsters as it's Halloween, and the latest three ebooks of that series have released. The first two ebooks of that series are free to read. I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner and in the description to my website so that you can grab these free ebooks. Now to the video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to remove your credit card or payment information from PlayStation.com in case you just don't want it stored on their platform. You can also use this uh, tutorial to add a payment also. So let's get to the clips. First, go to PlayStation.com. If you are signed in, go to the upper right hand corner and click on your avatar. If you're not signed in, sign in and then do so. A menu box will drop down and you go to the second selection called Payment Management and then you will click on it. This next screen will pop up called Payment Settings. You will see your wallet balance and under Payment Method, you will see the credit card or payment method that you want to remove. You can see that I have blacked out mine and that's where it will be located. You just click on that line or on that arrow that's next to it off to the right. This page is also where you would add a payment method. On this next page, you'll see what type of card it is, along with the last four digits, your card holder's name, the expiration date, and the billing address. And at the very bottom, you will see edit and remove. All you gotta do is go down there and click on remove. The next page will show you the credit card or payment method again and ask you if you're sure you want to delete this payment method and all you have to do is go down and click on yes. That should be all that you need to do. Um, you can also use the same method to add a credit card by just going back to that first page that said to add. When I did this on the PlayStation.com on my desktop, an error message did appear. So I waited maybe about 10 minutes and repeated the method and still that error message came up. So what I made sure is the next day to go back and make sure that the payment method was removed. And yes, it was removed. So I'm not sure what the error message is popping up, but uh, if it happens to you, just make sure you go back the next day and make sure that your payment method was removed. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and share. Until next time.